guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys um, how I am going to start with leash training with little Miss Raven here who's been running around like crazy. So she had, has been on a leash a few times, but each time she has pulled like crazy, she still really has no idea what this thing really even is or why it's tethered to her, her or anything like that. Raven, yes, good girl. So I really want to, I, I want her to, first of all, think that anytime I clip on the leash, it doesn't necessarily predict a walk. It doesn't predict we're going to the vet. The, the leash being clipped on should have no prediction whatsoever. When we create predictions, we create expectations. And we, when we don't live up to those expectations for our dogs, then we tend to have some type of anxiety, behavioral issue come up because those, those predictions aren't being fulfilled. So all I'm going to do today is teach her that the sound, the sound of this leash really means nothing. So I'm going to, Raven, I'm going to practice my collar grab and I'm going to clip on the leash Yes, and then I'm gonna mark that with a yes and give her a treat. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Yes, good girl. I'm gonna do the exact same thing when I uh, take the leash off because I don't want her to think that the second I take the leash off, she has free reign to go everywhere, go anywhere and run away from me. Because if I'm, act, if I'm taking her for a walk and her leash accidentally pops off, I don't want her to realize, oh, hey, I'm free. I can go wherever I want. I would like her to stay within close proximity to me. Raven. So I called her back. I'm gonna take the leash off. Yes. And I'm gonna reward, I'm gonna mark the sound of the leash coming off. So this click is gonna end up being the reward marker, which is going to build value for being here with me. Raven. So again, I'm gonna practice that collar grab. I'm gonna clip on. Yes. So I yesed before she had a chance to want to run off and run away. That's also really important. We don't want our dogs to think, like I said a little bit earlier, we don't want our dogs to think that they can do this once the leash is on, that they can go run away, run around, do whatever they want. We want them to stay close to us. This is going to build into a really, really nice heel later on, but right now I just want her to stay close to me. So she knows the food's over here and I'm kind of just letting her see what she's going to do so I know what I have to work on. Raven! She's going to mess up the, the tripod, so I don't want to do that. So if your puppy or dog is really, really accustomed to just running off or the leash is getting clipped on and they're already pulling, no, I don't want to do that, no thank you, then it's going to be really important that you hold on to the end of the leash to make sure that they don't actually run away from you. Raven! So now I'm gonna clip off, yes. I know she's chewing on the leash and right now I'm gonna take it just because she has, she's only 14 weeks so she still has a lot of puppy brain and I don't want, I don't want her getting distracted by something else, yes. Yes. So she is biting me, she is nibbling on me she is doing all of that stuff. And like I said, right now, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm gonna work on that later. But right now I wanna focus on this leash. This leash is a great thing to happen and I want it to be, yes, clipped onto me and taken off of me. And I wanna stay close to me. So I'm gonna do about two more repetitions. Yes. Her pieces of kibble are really, really tiny, so I tend to throw them around. So I'm gonna let her get that one that fell. Here go. I'm gonna clip on. Yes. And then clip off. Yes. So as you can see, she's picking this up very quickly. And it doesn't matter the age of your dog. They will typically start to pick this up really, really quickly because 
they are they will they will go where they're consistently rewarded whether that reward is that squirrel the person walking by the other dog or food they will be where they will get reported or rewarded so i'm also practicing this in my, in my basement as you can see raven is really comfortable with my basement she would be even more comfortable with my living room but as you heard from the background noise i have other dogs at home and they would probably not allow me to record a video so that you could hear me um, so very well when I'm recording and training upstairs. So I tend to um, record videos down here so that it's a little bit easier for you guys to learn, but she is still comfortable down here. You know, we've been down here a, a bunch of times, we've played, we've, this is a place that she is used to. So it's easiest for her to learn in the most comfortable place. And especially if you're at this stage, I would not be practicing this, you know, in your backyard or front yard or even out on walks. I would only be practicing this out in your home. That's your video for today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna gauge how, um, how well uh, Raven is doing and I am going to bring you another loose leash exercise you can do either with Raven or with another dog. I hope you guys have a great day. See you later.